Hello and welcome to Wing In It. So here we are, we are back again uh, with game two from the quarterfinal round match from the Interskim Skirmish, again up against Ballet Mage. So yeah, if you haven't seen game one from the series, uh, I'll link that in the top right hand corner. It was a really good game, uh, really high scoring. So definitely I would recommend checking that one out as always before we get stuck in here. Um, as a spoiler for the result, I did win that game one going first. Uh, but as I said, in that video, and as I'll say again here, is a best of three, so uh, we're not through yet. We have at least one more game here in game two, and we're going second, so it's not going to be easy uh, up against a tough opponent here in Ballet Mage. So, um, yeah, if we can win this, we're through, we're into the semi-finals, which is always the goal. Uh, if we lose, it will go to a deciding game three, and the start player for that is decided on points difference, so uh, we are going to try, of course, to win but at the very least score some high points and keep ourselves in it. So Berlin Mage has very kindly sent out the invite and picked their starting hand. So we're going to get stuck into this one and see what we have got to choose from. And it is not a great sight to be seeing, I don't think, there. Um, okay, what have we got? The feeder, no fish, the brown pelican is off the menu, but oyster catcher is on the menu. So do we go... Do we go Oyster Catcher and Chaffinch? I had a pretty good game uh, in this tournament where I kept Chaffinch early and just dug for cards and then used that later to tuck uh, what I was drawing and turn it into points. So it can work. It definitely can work um, as a little bit of insurance. To put it maybe in the grasslands. I mean, look at that. It works for a few in the round goals as well. Uh, but you can equally put it in the forest it's just as a bit of food generation, discard or tuck. You know, discard for the extra food or, or talk for the points uh, you kind of get decision on that but yeah this is it's gonna be tricky i think uh, this might be an oyster catcher early uh which is a bit odd a uh, bit odd to say the least uh what have they kept actually let's look at that three birds okay three birds and cherry and seed so uh yeah three birds normally a good starting hand if you're keeping that these two birds are just not what you want to see in these brown pelicans so do i want anything in the tray Eleanor's Falcon. Eleanor's Falcon always gets a bit of a bad rap. I'm not completely convinced by it, but I think it's not terrible either. Oh, bonus cards. Enclosure Builder or Diet Specialist? Probably. Probably Diet Specialist, but that is tricky when you don't have food generation. Uh, and I don't have food generation. So is the Enclosure Builder safer under the assumption that I pick up the Eleanor's Falcon? Do we have... There are two worms, so I could... Could take both worms, do Oyster Catcher and Eleanor, and then just start digging. And then, like I say, use the extra cards to tuck uh, with the Chaffinch. I suppose that's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's just whether Eleanor's Falcon, like, it's the same power as Common Maganza, but it's worth one more point, and you get eggs, which can be more useful um, than the cash food. So I think I will do that. I'm not a massive fan of this. A lot of it's going to depend on what this oyster catcher gives me, but we're just going to have to go with it, I think. We're just going to have to go with this, and we're just going to have to dig um, and see what we can find, because, yeah, it's if the oyster catcher gives you something good, I've got something to build off. Uh, we're good, and we're going away. Um, but yeah, oh, man, I don't know. If, if oyster catcher gives me a bunch of trash, then this is going to be a bit of an uphill battle, but we're going to try our best, like I said, uh, even if we lose this one, uh, which is never the goal. I'd never like to go in, into a match with the attitude of, if I lose this, um, but we can still keep it close. Because I think game one points difference, I think it was about 15, something like that. Um, so as long as it's not a complete battering, and as long as we can retain that uh, advantage going first uh, in the deciding game three. That's what we want to see. So we've got a Baltimore Oreo. What did they pick up? Maganza Falcon. I genuinely can't remember the third bird because I was not even considering looking at it. So, oh, Carolina Wren. Okay. Oh, I'm really tempted to take that Oreo, but it'd just be such a pain to get down with no cherry. So I'm going to instead play it safe. I'll take the worm that I need. Maybe they take that Oreo. Maybe they give me free food. Be my guest. I'd rather get the stuff I need to play these birds. Um, and yeah, I think 
I think if that second worm is still there, I think I might take it. So let's have a look. They've laid eggs. Interesting. Oh, it was the um, it was the nutcracker. It was the nutcracker. So they're going ran into nutcracker. Oh, there's loads of seeds there. So fair play. Um, fair play. Let's take. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the worm. I'm going to take the worm. So the plan here is play was to catch a assess. I hope we get a raven. Uh, <laughs> but if not, I think we lay eggs, draw cards, play the falcon, and then just start digging. Set ourselves up to draw cards as much as possible. Hopefully get some luck with Ele Eleonora. Uh, we take it from there. So yeah, Eurasian Nutcracker indeed. So they've still got two more birds in their starting hand and another one from the Wren. It's quite scary. And we're about to give them one more, I think, here with this oyster sketch. So what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Um, Nothing amazing. I'm wondering if I take the black turn and then just forget Vulcan, play back turn. It's another... Um, Enclosure nest. And to be honest, I probably don't want to give that to them, uh, considering they right now don't have a wetland bird down, but maybe they've got kill deer, Franklin's goal, white stork, something else to play. So I think I'm going to take black turn. Because uh, I can still lay eggs, play that, and start drawing cards. I think that's going to be the goal. So we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get back. I'm kind of expecting... I would expect the Magpie to come back. I think they would keep Snowy Owl. Uh, it depends entirely what else they've got, but... Um, yeah. I think, in all likelihood, um, it's going to be it's going to be a Snowy Owl keeper. And yeah, there we go. Eurasian Magpie. Finds its way back into our hand. Now, I could... I could play Chaffinch first. And then lay eggs. Um, it's probably not worth it. Just for one extra tuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to get tucks on the on the chaffinch later. I think I'd rather save it. Um, I'd rather save it and see. So did they re-roll? So they don't want seeds. They don't want seeds. They want other food because they've got good birds to play. Okay, that's worrying because they could easily have just taken two seeds there and cashed them. Yeah. They took a rodent. Oh, they took two rents. I guess a snowy owl. Maybe they'll play that. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll lay eggs. We'll play black turn and dig, dig, dig. And then again, um, if it comes to it in the in the last turn, if playing Chaffinch wins me or ties me the end around, I'll play it. Um, I'll play it. But otherwise, um, otherwise we're just going to dig for a bit. Because we need, uh, we need cards, and we need a food generator. We desperately need a food generator here. Something cheaper than that Baltimore Oreo, because that's just such a nightmare. Let's try and pick that. I suppose I could pick it up, because there's a cherry there, and then force it. Oh. Well, I suppose I can't now, but I could grab that white start to be fair. Um, yeah, it's weird. Why would they draw birds there? Because you could you could have picked up a bird with the snowy owl. Um, I need that white start though. Um, I definitely need that white start. So we'll go one off the top. Um, do I need the white start anymore? <laughs> I might not. I love this bee eater. It, I've had this. I've had this bee eater like this might be the third game in this tournament that this has come up. And it served me well. I do I do really like the Bee Eater. I don't think White Start's great for them. They've just picked up Oriole. Let's go off the top again. Yellow Throat, excellent. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. We're looking good here. Um, I think... I think we can... I think we... Do we prioritise Yellow Throat over Black Turn? I think we do. Still hits the next end around. It's just the bonus card it misses, but um, oh, they did. They picked up with the snowy owl that time. Okay, okay, so that's interesting. Um, I wonder if they have another grass and bird. I think we take the worm here because this worm is basically worth two food. 
because I could either force the bee eater down with what I've got, or I pick up one, play it, and then have two food left over. So this is this is equivalent to taking two food, and I think that extra food might come in handy. So we'll do that. Get the worm, and it gives more flexibility because otherwise, if I spend all of my non-worm food, all I'm getting from now on is worms. If I keep the non-worm food. Maybe I'll find something. I mean, maybe even like this chaffinch I want to play as a second grass and bird with the seed. Could be a little good double pivot. Lay eggs, tuck the birds, get the food. Draw cards, draw cards, draw cards. Something good, play it. Something bad, tuck it. Um, this is this is okay. This is okay. Okay, they've gone for food, so I wonder. That might just be setting up to play. Um, that might just be setting up to play. Uh, the Oriole. So this is very interesting because they they must still have like three or four cards in hand. We know they've got the Oriole. Um, they've still got a couple, I think, from their starting hand. They've not revealed yet, but uh, what we are going to reveal is this Bee Eater. So quite happy with that. And yeah, if it wins me the end of round, I'm going to play this Chaffinch. Um, I'm going to play it. It's annoying because it costs an egg and I want the egg there to draw cards next round, but I think it could be worth it for those extra extra three points and just that second grass of bird when I lay eggs I get an extra egg I'm not so fussed about the tuck cards yet but later in the game for sure I could suppose I could even play actually both these worm birds because then I'm drawing seeing lots of cards okay they've not they've gone for food so I think I think they're going to play I think they're going to play Oriole here and I don't mind that give me a little bit of extra food um, to work alongside this bee eater. I'll take it, so. Let's play Chaffinch. Let's play Chaffinch. And we're kind of... We're hedging a bit here. Because if there's something good in the tray, well, I'm happy. Um, if if there's something bad in the tray, I'm, I'm glad I didn't keep the eggs. So, what have we got in the tray? Nothing amazing. Fine by me. Let's lay eggs. So, we're going to skip the tucks, I think, for now. We pray, bee eater. Thank you. So, we're going to play some of these birds. Definitely, yeah. I think I think we could be in a strong position for this end of round if we play both yellow throat and black turn. That's three, that's three bowl nests. Um, and if they play Oriole, they'll have two. It really depends what else they've got. Because right now I'm very concerned that they they don't have any card generation. Like they played the owl in the grasses for a reason. Because they have a card generator already. Otherwise, you put that in the wetlands as a as a make do. White wagtail. Okay, it's going to be one of those kind of games, is it? I see. So no op birds. That's a relief because you wouldn't play wagtail if you had op birds. I was only talking to Ballet Mage about these uh, these teal powers the other day, actually. Um, so yeah, one of these uh, round end powers use all four actions and play another bird. So really, really strong. They did have some bugs. They are still slightly buggy. I think in live games they're okay. Um, but yeah, I think I think I'll at least play this yellow threat now because if something good, so they might draw from the tray. I wanna I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready to draw. But otherwise, I think I'll lay eggs next turn. Play the black turn. Fingers crossed. Assuming B Eater's gonna keep being reliable for me. Um, but yeah, this is. If this game goes well, this is going to be like the best trilogy of all time. Because I already had, I had Bee Eater Masterclass, which I'll link. I had the Return of the Bee Eater, which I'll also link. So what's this going to be like? Bee Eater Strikes Back? Like, what's the, <laughs> what's the third one? Um, you might be able to know based on what I've, um, what I've titled this video, or maybe something else. Maybe, maybe it's Chaffinch again, because again that was another key component in the previous victory. Um, so we'll see. Okay, White Star. They did take that, didn't they? I do remember now. That makes sense. Okay, so they've got good food generation. Not so much good card generation. Um, but we're kind of okay with that. Kind of okay with that. Let's lay eggs. Please. We'll skip. Please be eater. Excellent. Only need one. And it sets them up on a pain reroll. That was a very funny uh, reroll, actually, because what's that? One of each food type. It's like anti. Is that a Yahtzee or is that an anti Yahtzee? I'm not even going to pretend like I know the answer to that. Um, but yeah, we can play. I think that Northern Harrier might be a good snag. 
because I have got a rodent for it. I think play play black turn, draw cards. I think Harriet, Harriet. I'm gonna say Harrier and Willet, but it came out as Harriet. Harriet would be a good pickup. Um, I'll definitely pick up Harriet. Um, okay, they've laid eggs. Not sure why you'd play the white start then and lay eggs in that order, but maybe they've got something lined up with no food. Uh, maybe they want me to reroll. Um, maybe they want to get uh, Baltimore Oriole food, but we'll play Black Turn. Yeah, that is that is actually some advice I give, which is if you don't know what to do, lay eggs. Because <laughs> you need to lay eggs at some point, especially in a wagtail setup. You know, you need to take all four kinds of actions. I mean, uh, at a very basic level in Wingspan, you need to lay eggs to play birds. So you need to do it at some point in the round. Um, if the tray isn't great, if the bird view's not great, just lay eggs. You not got anything to play, lay eggs. Um, you can kind of put it off a little bit. Damn it, they took my Harrier. That's annoying. I wonder if they knew... There's some kind of inkling, but I have my eye on that. But we need to draw cards anyway. Um, we need to draw cards anyway. Cowbird, maybe not. I think if you will it, I do like the Enclosure Builder. Um, Ruby Crown King looks very good. Black Vulture. Oh, they don't have any hunting powers, do they? But they might do. So we'll see. We're, oh, Red Headed Woodpecker with um, Bee Eater is actually really good. And Osprey's not bad either. We're getting some good pickups here. I like this. So we are going to take Willet. Uh, oh, what do I get rid of? I think Magpie. They're not going to lay eggs much. Cowboy for the same reason. They can go. OP Hornlark appears. Um, but yeah, this is... This is okay. This is okay. How are they looking for the end of the round? Maybe they... Get food, play, or real lay eggs? I'm not sure they can afford. And then they need to use the writer. I don't think they can compete for the center round, if I'm completely honest. I don't think they can compete. Yeah, they've gone for food, and that's looking like Oriole food. Um, yeah, I don't think they can. So, I'm going to lay eggs. Uh, still going to skip. For now. Excellent. Beat you to doing the bare minimum. Uh, that's all I can ask from it. So yeah, I might. I'm thinking about this Osprey because for a little bit of extra food, it's it's scary giving away food to a Wagtail player, but they do already have pretty good food access. To be fair, but like Osprey could then play Willet and then maybe get some extra food and maybe the wild food plays the Woodpecker. So I'm kind of thinking Kinglet into Vulture could be a nice double play um, for one uh, for one bee eater food. Helps for total birds as well, that next in the round. But again, that's a hard one. That's a hard one to compete with a Wagtail player. Yeah, was it the Wagtail? I think it was the Wagtail that Grackle and Oakbrand played in the last round, so we conquered it that time. They got a little bit of bad fortune, uh, I think, in some areas, uh, and also a little bit of uh, misplay creeped in. But like I said, these are, these are tough birds to work with, really tough birds to work with. It was very okay, um, but yeah, they're they're tough. They are tough to to make them work uh, effectively. They need a lot of care and attention uh, to get the to get the sequence of plays right, to get the right food and the right card access and all of that. So yeah, we did see bell series, so they are going to play eggs. I would guess one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so they can compete for the end round. They, I think we're going to tie. Um, and there are the rodent for the Harrier. That is smart. So Harrier's going down. So maybe, maybe we can get away with this Black Vulture. Uh, I might do that now. I might do that now. Because if that gives me... Even if it just gives me a few free food. This is giving some egg space. And it's three points for one food, which is not terrible. And it helps for next and around, so... I might do that because I am. Um, I, I can't see them having anything else to play unless they've got Goshawk or Benelli or something, but I don't know. I think Harry is going down, so uh, they'll want to use that to try and score points, and I can either get some free food benefit off that or uh, stop them from using it and make them lose points. So 
We will play this Black Vulture. We will do that double play. I quite like that. Um, and yeah, we are not looking too bad here. 30 points. We're going to get three from the end of round. I think we're looking okay from, from what was a really, really poor start. We used to catch a Chaffinch. Um, it's come together. Be Eater saving, saving me again. Um, I owe a lot to this bird, I think, my progress in this tournament. Um, but Chaffinch as well. Not got any tucks yet, but I think if we can start building up this wetlands, uh, we can get some. Yeah, we can get something really good going here. Uh, get some good card generation, maybe some food. Maybe if we're lucky, will it get some points? I still need to work out what I'm going to do with. Um, with that red-headed woodpecker, that's going to be that's going to be a round three problem for me to decide. So, they did play Harrier, and we've got Western Meadowlark in the tray, which I think is excellent with Wagtail. So, I'd be snagging that if I'm them. They got loads and loads of ground nest space, uh, and I do not. I have some, but not loads. So yeah, that that would be a really good pickup uh, if I'm Ballet Mage. But yeah, so much. So much depends on what uh, birds they've got. And bonus cards, I mean, bonus card heavy strat works well with Wagtail because normally you fill a lot of bird spaces down. Um, you know, you're going to get 12 plus birds, I think, easily with Wagtail. Um, no no questions asked. Uh, it's quite easy to fill the board as well. When you're getting that many birds down, any bonus card you draw, it's like, how many birds with this nest type or how many birds with this in their name or something like how many big birds, birds that eat this kind of food, like the more birds you have down, the more likely you are to have birds that hit those bonus cards. So yeah, it's uh, it's a good little synergy, I think, between those two kind of strategies um, that they, that they are, are doing well at here. So there we go, free food. Excellent. I'm so, I'm so happy I played that vulture. Um, do I? Oh, there's two very, two very distinct directions. Because I could play, I could take a fish and play Osprey. Or I could take a seed and try and play the woodpecker. I think I want the fish. I think I take fish. I play Osprey. I draw cards. I play Willet. Oh, maybe I draw cards again. Because uh, drawing cards is not bad. If it gives me food, if it gives me more cards, I'm just going to talk this later. So, um, yeah, I definitely do want to play Willet as a cheap, um, cheap wetland bird that hits the bonus card. So. I think we'll do that. Makes it harder for them to re-roll as well. Um, See, so yeah, they must have laid eggs. They did. So they don't want this metal arc. I'm not keen on it. We'll play Osprey. We'll clear out. In case they do. In case they do. Go for metal arc. But yeah, this is this is not bad. It's not bad. We're going to be getting four cards a turn now. Play the Willet. Get five cards a turn, and we can just really hit up that grass and at the end of the game um, with loads of tucks. So I would like to play this woodpecker, but if we're seeing loads of cards, I think I think we're gonna find something better. Black turn, yellow throat. These are really good birds for just seeing more cards. You know, black turn case you don't keep the cards, but you're seeing them. So you know, not every card you draw is gonna be good, but if you see more cards, you're more likely to see more good cards, and then you just discard. Uh, discard the bad ones uh, and it's not so much of a big deal uh, to try and face up against so <clears throat> yeah I'm really interested how how bad is going to approach this and what other cards they've got uh, they have drawn birds they've got blight from the deck so I mean it's a good sign for me because that tells me they're not happy with what they've got uh, I would have thought they would still be trying to get this Oriole down for big points but maybe it's not to be Maybe it's not to be so. We're just going to keep drawing. Are we going to find a Franklin's goal that we can play right away? Thank you, Osprey Fish. <laughs> you are paying for yourself. This is what I'm saying. Give yourself extra card draw. You're going to find good birds. Oh, we've got Blue Threat as well. Oh, I'd love to be able to play that. Uh, that would be my enclosure build done between Gull and Blue Throat. Um, okay. What do we not want worth? We're playing Gull. I think it's still time. I think it's still time to play goal. When you've got Chaffinch, I can make most of those cards. So I think Diver, actually. I think I will keep Willet. I think probably that I'm not going to have enough food. And I think probably. 
Grisha's Hawk could be a play. I don't know. I think I'll get rid of Diver. If there's choices between Diver and Willet, I'm playing. I'm playing Willix. It's cheaper. Okay. So yeah, we play Gull now, and I think we just keep lead eggs. We get three eggs. We discard one for two cards, but we get three tucks. So we get five points a turn. We get food. Slowly start to lose a few cards, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I could even draw cards again here. Is that greedy? Is it greedy to save the rodent? Because I think all these extra cards... Let's think about this logically. It's four cards and a food. Four cards and a food. And those four cards were four points. With Chaffinch Tucks. It's four points and a food. My engine, with the gull down, is... I think I said it was five points and a food, but it's minus one card. I think I think there's a case to be made to draw cards here. I think there really is. I'm going to do it. It's crazy, but I'm going to do it. Red Kite is actually not bad. I could play that on top of Yellow Throat uh, for some points at the end. An Ibis is definitely not bad either. I might even keep that. Um, those two, I think, could go. I might keep the fish. <laughs> I might keep the fish after all that um, just to play Canvas back later. But yeah, this is... It's going okay. It's going to feel late. It's going to feel really late for Franklin's goal, but with Chaffinch, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't you worry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Okay, what are they doing? Bold Eagle. And they gambled. Or maybe there wasn't a fish. So that's the pain of me giving them Osprey fish has meant they got that, that down easier. Um, maybe they've got Rodentologist. Maybe they have got Rodentologist. Um, I think this game is a bit... It's quite even. It's quite even. It's a bit on a knife edge, but I think... I think playing... Oh, this is what I've got to decide. Do I save the fish for the Ibis? I think that could be a good play. And it's going to help that last in the round goal as well, actually, to be honest. Um, or do I keep the Rodent for the Hawk? I think I'm going to keep the fish. I think I'm going to keep the fish. I think playing Ibis for six points plus... Uh, well, actually, will it might be better because it does hit the bonus. Either way, I'll keep the fish. After all that, it's not going to matter. And yeah, I might need to play... I might need to play one of them. Depends end of round again. I'm going to have some decision to make. Can they lay... I don't think they could play... They're going to get one with a wagtail. I don't think they can play another bird this round. I don't think they're going to have enough food for that. I might be wrong, but... I think they're going to cap out at nine. And so if I can play... Will it? Um, and get to ten. This is a perfect time and place for... Uh, the original Green Woodpecker, if I actually had... Who's play? Okay, so they have got Oriole food. Do they have a fish worm eating bird to play? That's going to be the million dollar question, but... Wheelie eggs first here, anyway. No questions asked. One, two, three... Uh, no, we'll leave the yellow through. Empty, because we might want to use that. Rough. Rough would have been so, so nice earlier. But I think it's too late now. Um, red kite want to keep. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. There we go. Chaffinch is starting to, starting to come in handy. So the points, points not massively there. Oh, actually, I do still have an extra turn, so I can play rough. That's perfect. That's enclosure builder and six. Oh no, because it's not six tucks, is it? Because I might miss out on Chaffinch. drawn birds okay they might have a double play remember that they might have a double play I think I'm still going to play a bird here it's just a case of what I play I mean grass and rough actually I could put rough in the grasslands 
It's enclosure builder. Gives me extra eggs. Um, yeah, it's 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 basically I'm only get three tucks from that. So it's a five point bird, but I think that's better than a lot of these. I think I will do that. I think for the extra eggs, it's worth it. I can just expand that last round. Um, net. I lose net two cards a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I lose three turns. Yeah, I think that's still worth it. I think it's still worth it. Because I could still have that turn playing red kites. Uh, this hurts me by not playing it in the wetlands for the end of the round, but if it gives me... it's uh, At worst, I go I lose three points from the end of the round. It's going to give me more than that in terms of eggs, I think. Yeah, because I might still play... I could lay eggs four times if I get a worm every time, play Ibis. Um, could be worse. Let's do that. Okay, so yeah. Points are not massively there, but I think the end game is going to be strong. I'm very worried about Ballet Mage's end game, but end game with Wagtail is so tricky. Because drawing cards, zero points for them. Not good. Okay, they didn't have a double play. So we do win that end of rounds. So I'm glad I played rough. Right, what do we not want? That is never going to get played. That's too expensive. That I would really like to play. But that's not good either. Right now I'm just hoping for a Benelli. I'm really just hoping for Benelli. Well, actually, that's still... If it gives me extra cards... To tuck under challenge. Uh, that might not be bad. Anyway, let's lay eggs. Let's lay eggs. Um, still want to use this goal. Do we want Condor? Because Condor actually could be could be not terrible. Still would be four points because it's. Four points minus two eggs, two points. Draw two cards. These two cards are worth two tucks. Combined with Condor, zero points and a bonus card, and three points. Three points. Between the two of them, seven points and a bonus card. I don't think it's worth it. I might deny it anyway, because I think Condor is good with Wagtail. Uh, they could put it anywhere. They could stick it in any row. Um, and that scares me, so. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, Blue Throat, you're too expensive. Sorry. Be Eater. Beat is doing work. Beat is doing work. So the points start to come in. So what was that? Seven point turn. And a food. So definitely not bad. Um, but yeah. If I can get the food for the Ibis, I think that's better. They've gone for food. I think that's better than uh, still... I think I want to play one more because I, I think tying this end around guy is going to be worth it. I think that is going to be worth it. Free cherry. Oh, maybe I should have kept hold of blue throat. I forgot about the Oriole. That was a mistake. That was a definite mistake. Um, okay. Never mind. We'll move past it. We'll lay eggs. We'll spread them out because who knows? We might get a bonus card for we want just later. Come on, Raven, you're too late. Where were you earlier? Um, I don't think Red Kite's worth it anymore. Four points, I can do better. Um, and the Stilt, we worked out, is better than Willet. And I'd probably rather play Condor than Willet at this point, even if I don't get the food for Stilt. So. Come on, Bee Eater. It's going to happen. <laughs> after I beat you up last turn, and after I said I needed the food. Uh, it was always going to happen. So, this is on a knife edge. This is definitely on a knife edge. I'm I'm very nervous about how this end game is going because I'm scoring points, but I'm still only 70 points with three turns to go. It's not great. Or what did they just did they just play? Oh, now they play the metal arc. Okay, so they did pick it up. They did pick it up when it was there earlier. So it's quite a nice egg laying action. Are they just going to lay eggs three times? So have a look how many points they are on. 16, 20, 24, 30, 41, 42. End of round goals. 
49. Okay. Um, I, I'll be honest, I'm less worried now. Uh, but they do have three bonus cards. And yeah, expand for them. It's not bad, but it gives us points as well. Um, I think we... I think we do just keep trucking on with the eggs. Dig for Benelli. Okay. One, two, three... Ibis is off the off the cards now. I think we can keep Condor because, uh, yeah, we're at, at the worst we do rough tucks and not chiff chaff or not chaff inch tucks. What am I doing trying to tuck down there? It's because I think I'm just a chiff chaff. It's in the wrong habitat. Um, there we go. B to thank you. Okay, so there's another. That was six points that turn. It's not quite as good. Um, yeah, I think still it's worth playing. I think still is worth playing. Oh no, I should have. Oh, that was a mistake, not tucking the condor. Oh, no, it's fine. It is fine. What am I talking about? Rough tucks. Rough tucks, not chaffinch tucks. We chill out. Uh, yeah, still it's going to be worth playing, because it gets us two cards. Still it's better than condor here. Um, and laying eggs is better than playing condor to hit enclosure builder. In my opinion. Yeah, play still. We... I think they're going to I think they are still going to use Wagtail because it would be a big miss to, to not use it and and uh, give me end of round points I probably should have kept <laughs> the Ibis because now I could play that and that's better than the Stilt that was uh, another mistake if I lose this game I know I know where the mistakes have been uh, for sure okay, so that was 7 that was 7 points from that turn but I got, uh, I got an egg as well, so I got a point. So we'll play stilts. And yeah, I don't really care what those cards are. Um, that's fine. So that was only two points, like raw points. So they're not going to be on the board yet, but it helps the end around. And these cards are made for tucking because they're terrible. So we get eight, seven, seven points, seven points last turn. We have one card for rough tucking. They played the Mockingbird. What on earth? Are they just going to lay eggs again? That must be for a bonus card. Okay, so they're going to Mockingbird that Meadowlark. So we need to keep spaces free. Uh, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Cards. Tuck, 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 tuck. There we go. B to one last chance. There you go. You only missed once. That was one out of like 10. So 90% success rate. I think that's pretty in line with what you'd expect from a B to so. Um, yeah, we're going to be fairly strong here. We do tie the end around to 91, 92 after the rough. I think that might be enough. I think that might be enough. It's going to heavily depend on their bonus cards, but I don't know if this is. 92 point board. That Mockingbird for zero points, that had to have hit a bonus card. I suppose end of round points, but yeah, more food. That doesn't, that doesn't matter at this point, but uh, we get free Medlark Egg. I think we get two. Yeah, we are. So actually, that's a couple more points for us. What's that? 92, 94? I, yeah, I don't think they've got less eggs than me. They've got a lot less tucks. Actually, we're, both, we're kind of similar on, on X. I don't think this is a. I don't think that's a mid nineties pod kills here. Oh, you love wingspans, laughing in your face. But there we go. End of round tie. So we do win two, tie two, which is not bad at all. And we're going to the scores. So it's going to be all on bonus cards because I think if Bellow Mage has mediocre bonus cards, I think we're okay. Nine points, okay. That is that's about average. So we are going to catch a bit end of rounds. Eggs, I think I said it's going to be close. Food on cards, none. But tucks, I think, is where we're going to have it. And we do indeed pull ahead to there at the end on the final stretch. And it's a win. 94 points to 80. And you can probably tell from my voice that is a big, big sigh of relief. Um, let's see what they had for bonus cards. Bird counter. They did have rodentologist uh, and viticulturist as well. So, um, yeah, not, not bad bonus cards by any means. But... Um, yeah, shame to, to not get bird counter to work. And six is good for a Um But yeah, one away 
one away for Vitti. Um, but Wagtail, yeah, I said it's a struggle and definitely that kind of dilemma late game. Do I still activate it last round? Yeah, if you don't have good birds worth playing, uh, often the answer can be no. But yeah, our game, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I say, really, really uncertain start. Um, Oyster Catcher and, and Chaffinch, but this is another game. It's another game where keeping Chaffinch at the start has paid off massively. Um, it's a really good little insurance bird, that I think. Uh, and again, Bee Eater again. Saving my bacon. Saving my bacon there when it came up. Uh, being able to get that down, get some food going. And yeah, goal, of course. I mean, I think. Would I have won without goal? I think I probably would have, to be honest. I had a good wetlands. Goal just meant I could I could continually lay eggs. I think I could have easily done that, pivot back and forth. But with the wetlands I built up, I was always going to be able to find birds like Franklin's goal, <laughs> eventually finding Kilda as well. But um, that was a good game. And winning another Series 2 we go through into the semi final. So very exciting stuff. Looking forward to those matchups for sure. And uh, yeah, I will, of course, do my best to get this recorded. Uh, and made into videos so if you want to stay up to date with those please do subscribe uh, i'd massively appreciate that and uh yeah otherwise i'll see you around in another gameplay video